All right, so man, we we just talked about a couple of different things that's going on out there in, on the West Coast, and that was allegedly involved in you. But one thing that's for certain is the situation with Wack One Hundred, man. And even during his interviews recently and on his Wack and Adam show, he talked about the fact that you guys have never met, and you had brought that up in our previous interviews. So yeah, why don't you do? Go ahead, go ahead. I'm a threat to Wack. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them niggas that, you know, if if me and him was just around and me and him was on um and it was no internet, no, no, no nothing, he'd just be an old nigga hate on me, bro. You know what I'm saying? He one of them niggas that have no fucking talent. That have no fucking talent. That's uh hold on. That got no that one that guy's no talent but wants to be seen. And want to be heard. You feel what I'm saying? So he ate. He, like, Wack want to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? He wish he was a rapper. He wish he had the charisma of a rapper. You know, but he don't. So he hate. He hate. Like, he's in a position to really be. To, to, to really magnify his hate. You know what I'm saying? If he wasn't who he was. His hate. He'd be just that old nigga. I hate. We'd be ignoring him. But he put himself in a position. So everybody could hear his. Loud mouth hating ass. My nigga. Everything he say about somebody else. He faced the same problem. It's always some that don't like him. They say he ain't never did shit. They say they don't f*** with him. He can't put up to his hood. Here he is self-projected on the internet saying that shit about other people. Like, nigga, get your ass up out of here. Feel me? And the other, no. reason he fasc- the other reason he fascinated with paperwork is he got paperwork. I mean, he knew it's been coming out all the way in that. Now, what's crazy is if you, if you do some research online, you do see some things, some rumors and stuff out there, and you definitely see a situation. And go ahead, what'd you say? Say wrong with him. Back. Yeah, I mean, there. And you had last interview. A lot of people were talking about this when they were messaging me. You made a statement. You said you felt like Wack One Hundred. His mission was to make snitching acceptable. You know what I mean? Do you still you still feel that way? Yeah, I do. Because look at everybody around him. He got nothing but snitches around him. You feel me? Nigga, a G will know. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, my nigga, like, he, see, it's not like, like, he keeps snitches around him. My nigga, like, he made a statement on no jump. He's, I can make paperwork all the way. He think he just got this power to say what snitching is and what snitching not. Like, snitching is snitching. Dead homies, even with Chaz dude on club. Running your mouth about every goddamn thing, like we know the fans ain't watching this shit, listening to this shit, my nigga. Yeah, I mean, you, you're the master of this shit, bro. That nigga whack is called King Snitch. It's a wild situation because when it comes to the representation for West Coast hip hop, people first look to No Jumpers platform, right? And even though you know Whack doesn't own the platform, he has a huge presence over there. So a lot of people behind the scenes, they always have questions about his involvement and things that go on as far as like the streets. You know what I mean? Now, when it comes to, to you doing interviews over there, do you ever feel like there's a situation where you ever have to really to whack one hundred? I'm not worried about it because, like, I don't fear no me. Like, like really, what can whack do to me? Try to fight me, or I'm not worried about that. I'm a grown ass man right in here, my nigga. I'm a full grown lion, my nigga. I'm not worried about what a nigga gonna say to do to me because I understand one thing that I have the right to defend myself. I'm not gonna run. Up. I'm not running up on nobody. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm not gonna run up on you, nigga. I'm not gonna threaten you. I'm not gonna do nothing. Feel me? Because I don't hate nobody that much. But if they hate me that much, see me and try to do something to me, hey, nigga, get your rocks off, my nigga. But but niggas can't get mad. I'm gonna react though. Feel me? No, nah, that's 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 correct. Right, people, man, they think they can't judge the reaction, especially if you've been pushed to your limits and you you've been uh, obviously avoiding any type of beef. That's what I understand. I don't want no problems with nobody, my nigga. This Chile, focus on my artists, focus on my brand. I'm focused on putting the West Coast on, my nigga. I don't got no beef with nobody. Everybody that I spoke on or said something about said something about me, man. I wish everybody. Did. The uh, happiness is success and it goes or whatever they're trying to do. I mean, just keep a little badass out your mouth if it's not positive. You know what I'm saying? Like our mamas told us, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. So I, I think a lot of people shouldn't be saying nothing at all, especially if they weigh. 
110 pounds soaking wet. You know what I'm saying? Like, shut your ass up. Nigga. Yeah. 